Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk to you about the biggest conundrum in nursing school admissions. Do you go for the ADN, Associates of Nursing Degree, or do you go for the BSN, Bachelors of Nursing Degree, or do you do an Accelerated Second Bachelors, or do you go straight into an MSM Bridge program if you have a prior Bachelors degree? Um, so, this is something that I researched forever. Um, so my background is I have a bachelor's degree in biology and health science, and I wanted to go back to school for nursing. So I'm like, okay, what do I do? I have all of these options. Um, but this video can also pertain to people who don't have a prior degree. So just if you don't have a prior degree, kind of stick to the associates of nursing versus the bachelors of nursing, which I will, I guess I'll go over those first. Um, and this can apply for people who also have prior bachelors. And then um, I'll go into something, um, go into the second BSN or the bridge MSN for people who have a prior bachelors um, or the ADN. So, all right, so just to get into it. So the ADN is an associates of nursing degree and the BSN is a bachelors of nursing degree. So if you don't have a previous um, degree. These are kind of the two programs that you're looking at. So if you want my advice from somebody who has gone to private college, has racked up a ton of student loans, this is my advice to you if I could go back in time and redo everything that I did. Start off, and this is for people, well I'll get into second bachelors, but start off with the ADN. Go to your local community college and live at home. Do your like prereqs and then go into the nursing school program um, because the amount of money that you're going to save is unreal. Unreal. Even if you go to a state school, the difference in tuition is unreal. And when you get out of school and you look at the amount of student loans that you have, like from going to a private school for my bachelor's, like I'm sure a ton of other people who are watching this are. You look at your student loans and you're like, it's a house. It's literally a house. And if I move to Texas, it's like a really freaking nice house. You know what I mean? So I'm telling you, your education, I'm going to get into private schools and high expensive schools do have a time and a place. And I will get to that. But so my advice to you would be go to the associates program, do that, and then typically a lot of them have bridge programs into an MSN, I mean into, I'm sorry, a BSN at a state school where you don't even have to apply, like you're automatically in as long as you maintain a 3.0 or above, um, and a lot of them give tuition discounts as well if you go through that program, so you can get the BSN and save a ton of money by doing the community college first to a bridge program to a state school. If I could go back in time, that is what I would do. That's what I think you should do. However, the only exception to that would be if you are a spectacular student in high school and you apply to your dream school, whatever, and you get a scholarship um, or you get, you know, financial aid assistance or whatever, and the school is going to be really cheap, the same as community college or maybe even just a little bit more expensive, then definitely do that. If that's your dream school where your heart is, then do that. However... Typically, that is not what happens for everybody, so um, if not, I would say to do the associates to the BSN, and then go on for your master's or your nurse practitioner, because those are going to be very expensive. I mean, even when you do those at state schools, you're looking at over $100,000 to get your nurse practitioning um, degree, and you know possibly more, so that's where that big chunk of student loans should go. It shouldn't go to a BSN. It shouldn't go to a bachelor's degree. That's where I messed up, you know what I mean? That It shouldn't go to that. It should be saved for your graduate um, studies. So that's my advice for that. Now, however, say you are like me and you have a prior bachelor's and now you're thinking of going into nursing. Um, what? So I guess it kind of comes down to you can go straight into an MSN program. However, the reason I chose not to do this is because you still have to take those like fundamental classes that you would take at like a community college or a state school to get the RN, but you're going to pay the graduate study per credit tuition, which can be outrageously different. I mean, outrageous, like $100,000 difference. Um, so 
that is why I chose to do the associates first. Um, and then my game plan is to do the associates and then go into an MSN um, because a lot of MSN programs will accept you with a bachelor's degree from something else and then an associates of nursing degree. So this is kind of like the cheapest way to do it and that's how I chose to do it. However, you can, if your end goal is to just like work at a hospital that requires you to have a BSN, then most likely getting an accelerated BSN may be the best bet, especially if you look at it at a state school. It's going to be a little bit more money um, than um, a community college. However, you know, if that is your end goal to have the BSN, it's kind of worth it to pay that little extra um, to get it all done fast. Um, my end goal of being a nurse practitioner it's going to be like a long process anyway, so the extra, you know, eight months it's going to take me, it doesn't really matter in, in the big scheme of things. Um, also, looking at admission requirements, so for example, all of the schools around me that um, are accelerated BSN programs required me to have had anatomy and physiology done before the admission deadline, which means that I would have had to wait until, like, next year to apply um, because I just finished my anatomy and physiology over the summer and the deadline was April, I believe. So it would push me back a whole year doing the accelerated BSN, whereas the program that I applied to, um, I could I could be enrolled over the summer in the anatomy and physiology and still be accepted. So, you know, those are things to kind of weigh out as well. However, that is kind of the way that I would do things why, or I am, am doing things um, in my decision making but I really think so education is so important and um, you know getting a graduate degree or a BSN or an associate's degree is all amazing like you're educating yourself you're growing you're setting goals you're achieving them but you want to do it the cheapest way possible because if you're like me someone who wants to be a lifelong learner, which I'm sure you all are, and that's why you're going into a challenging field and you know you know it's not going to be easy, but you want to do it. You want that money to be able to continue your studies and continue your growth. You don't want to put yourself in a hole getting a bachelor's. You need to just keep that in mind, I think. So that's all. So yeah, that was my video about should you choose the Associates of Nursing, the Bachelors of Nursing, the Accelerated Bachelors of Nursing second degree, or should you go on to the MSN? I hope that that kind of covered it all for you guys and that you now are more educated in your decision-making process. And I wish you all the absolute best of luck. And make sure to subscribe below and let me know if you guys get in, what you chose to do, and just how life is going. If you have any questions, just send them my way. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye.